Shana Tova Sheni, everybody. Rosh Hashanah is one of these amazing Jewish holidays that actually takes place over the course of two days. Jewish holidays are really special because they have varying amounts of time. Some of them are only one day from sundown to sundown the next day. Some of them are an entire week long. But on Rosh Hashanah, we are so excited. It's such a great experience to welcome in a new year. It's so nice. We do it twice. And so this is the second day of Rosh Hashanah, a big birthday party for the world that goes over two full days. I'm Rabbi Yael Rapport, the associate rabbi here at CBST Congregation Beit Simchat Torah, the LGBTQ synagogue of New York City. And if you are here to celebrate the birthday of the world with all of your friends and family of origin and family of choice, everyone you know who's about mm, zero to five years old and older, then you're in the right place. I'm so delighted this morning to share our online Bima with an incredible team of educators and musicians and technicians, all essential puzzle pieces that it takes for us to be able to offer you these beautiful services and for us to come together to welcome in the new year of 5782. I'll be co-leading this morning with Stephen Figura Smith. They are our brilliant song leader who has been with us over the past year and going into the future in our Aleph Bet Shabbat program, which is special for our youngest Jews of ages zero to five. I'm joined by our principal, Jennifer Kleinbaum, who runs our Limud B'Shabbat program. That's our children's education program at CBST and all families with children's programs. We have Rosemary Minkler, who is running our Zoom, and we are so grateful to Rosemary because without her, we couldn't be here today. 
And we are supported by Emily Kanarak, who's our clergy team administrator, and Rachel Chang, who is the song leader for Lee Mood and an educator herself, who's going to be leading the slightly more grown up version of our kids services ages six to 12 at 10 a.m. right after this service. So what are we waiting for? We have a lot of singing and praying and snuggling and stories to get to. So I'll hand it over to Stephen so we can all say shalom. Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for that beautiful welcome Rabbi Rapport. And hello Shana Tova everybody. I am Stephen and I'm so happy that you're here for day two of our Rosh Hashanah services. Let's get ready to say shalom with each other by learning some American sign language to sing our shalom song with. Shalom, of course, means hello and peace and goodbye that we'll say at the end, but not yet. And so to you, uh, use American Sign Language to say shalom, we're going to put our hands together two times like this and then down like that. Pat, pat, and rest them down. Two other signs that we're going to learn for our shalom song are the sign for roaming or wandering and the sign for home, where we take your finger right next to your lips and bring it back to your ear, just like that. So let's get ready to try it together. Sha la 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 shalom. Sha la 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 shalom. We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. Sha la 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 shalom. Shalom to the five-year-olds, shalom. Shalom to all the four-year-olds, shalom. Shalom to the three-year-olds and shalom to the two-year-olds. Shalom, shalom. Shalom if you're one year old, shalom. And shalom if you're less than one, shalom. Shalom to kids who are older than five and shalom to all the grown-ups too. Shalom, shalom. We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. Sha la 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 shalom. Thank you for singing and doing that sign language with me. American Sign Language is a language that was invented by and for people who are deaf and hard of hearing. And we'll use some more of it and learn more about it when we sing our Shema later on in the service. Right now, as we enter into and create and get ready to enter into a sacred special place together, I want to invite all of you to also connect to and feel into the sacredness of the place that you're in right now. As we get ready to sing Shema Tovu, which is a Jewish prayer all about entering into special sacred places together. And the place that you're in right now might be land that is indigenous to somebody else. So let's take a deep breath and feel your body connecting to the earth and think about honoring the original people of that land, the ancestors of that land. We all have ancestors. We have many kinds of ancestors, ancestors of our families, our families of origin and our chosen families. We have ancestors of the land that we live on, the original first people of that land. We have ancestors that we evolved from, like our more than human ancestors, plants and animals. And so let's feel our connection to all of them and honor all of them as we say matovu and a land acknowledgement. When we say our land acknowledgement, I'm going to acknowledge the Lenape people who are indigenous to the land where the physical site of CBST is on, as well as where I am here on Long Island. If you wanna type into the chat right now, who is indigenous to the land that you're on? You can type that into the chat and I invite you to insert their name into our land acknowledgement when we sing it at the end of this prayer. Feel 
feel the gravity of earth pulling your body down. Feel your body connecting to the earth and your relationship to it as it spins around and around. And we rock back and forth to the rhythm of its spinning. Matovu touch the ground and rise to sit or stand the land we are on is Lenape land reach down and touch the ground rise up to sing in chorus we honor the Lenape people here now and before us. Clap your hands, this is Lenape land. And stomp where you stand, that is Lenape land. Clap your hands, this is Lenape land. And stomp where you stand. And just as we, we greet and welcome in our ancestors, all kinds of ancestors, now let's take a minute to greet each other and welcome each other by saying, hallelujah, look how good, how beautiful it is. Let's give thanks for being together today. Pat a beat in your lap and sing with me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give a hug to someone sitting near you. Give a hug and say, I love you. Give a hug to someone sitting near you. Give a hug and sing, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Send a little magic to someone on the screen. Send a little magic and say shalom, shalom. Send a little magic to someone on the screen. Send a little magic and sing. Hallelujah. 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 Put your arms up and say, Happy New Year. Put your arms up and say, Shana Toba. Throw your arms up and say, Happy New Year. Throw your arms and sing, Hallelujah. 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 Shana tova umetu ka. That doesn't just mean a good new year. It means a good and a sweet new year. I have lots of things with me right here in my invisible Rosh Hashanah bag for us to have a good and a sweet new year. Do you want to see what's in my invisible Rosh Hashanah bag? Yeah. I'm going to pull something out. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. We've got an apple. Can you pull out an apple too from your invisible Rosh Hashanah bag? Let's all pull out our apple and see how it tastes. Crunch. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. And we've got
got some honey bzz, bzz, and an apple crunch. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. We've got a round holla, yum, and some honey, bzz, bzz, and an apple crunch. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. We've got some dates and tahini, dip, dip, and a round holla, yum. We've got some honey, bzz, bzz, and an apple crunch. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. We've got a machzor, that's our prayer book, we're going to open it up. And we've got some dates and honey, dip, dip. We've got some round hala, yum. And we've got some honey, bzz, bzz. And we've got an apple crunch. My Rosh Hashanah bag has everything we need for a very, 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 very sweet new year indeed. And just like we opened up our machzor, our prayer book, which we will say some prayers later in our service, but we have another book to read first today. And Rabbi Rapport has that book. She's going to tell us all about it. Hi, Does Rabbi Rapport. Hi, Stephen. Does anybody else have this book at home? What are your words? This is a brand new book. It's a favorite book in our house. And it's by Catherine Locke. It's illustrated by Anne Passashire. And we think it's pretty awesome. It tells a very thoughtful and exciting story. It's a little long. So we're only going to do the highlights today, but we encourage you to get this book for your bookshelf. It's written by amazing queer writers and illustrated by a fabulous queer illustrator. And I'm skipping some of the good parts. So I think you should really invest in it. Today, I'm gonna to make sure that you can see all the pictures, but I know you can't really see all the words. That's okay. I'll read you the words. You look at the pictures and Jennifer is gonna tell me if we can't see the pictures. That's a very important job. This is a book about pronouns. Can we see the pictures? Go. There we go. My uncle Lior is coming to visit today. I can't wait to show them around my neighborhood and I can't wait for all my neighbors to meet them. Lior is my favorite uncle. They have many beautiful, colorful hats. The garden at their house is magical. They are a biologist and look at teeny tiny living things under a microscope. I learn a lot from uncle Lior. Like that people can be described by more than what they look like or what they do. In fact, there are lots of words to say who people are and how they feel. Some of these words are pronouns. Pronouns are words that can take the place of your name, like I, me, you, she, he, or they. If you have pronouns that you use and you wanna share with us, will you put those in the chat? We would love to know your pronouns. And if you're still deciding, don't worry, you're in great company. Leora knows how important my words are to me because I'm always growing and changing and some of my words change with me. So every time they visit, they ask, what are your pronouns, Ari? Sometimes I know my words right away. Like happy, creative, funny, he and him. Sometimes I have to think about my words. Wonderful, athletic. Silly, she and her. Sometimes I have to try my words out. Sleepy, calm, honest, AM. Sometimes I just use one set of pronouns and sometimes I change my pronouns. And sometimes I use all the pronouns I can think of. 
My pronouns are like the weather. They change depending on how I feel and that's okay because they're my words. This time when Uncle Leor asked me about my words, I have a problem. I don't know what words to use, I cry. I can't decide which pronouns fit today. That's okay, Uncle Leor tells me, their smile warm. You have all day to think about it. But I want to know my words now. He and him feel squirmy and wiggly to me. Those aren't right. I'll have to think about my words later because it's time for Uncle Leor, my sister Rachel, and me to head to our neighborhood's big summer bash. Summer is my favorite season and barbecues are my favorite type of party. Rachel dances and sings in the street, twirling around and making me laugh. Rachel has her own words. Her pronouns don't change, but sometimes she's quiet instead of loud. And today she is loud. Mrs. Burton walks behind. Do you think that you could let us see some of the people a little closer? Just while you're, even while you're not reading? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Mrs. Bolton walks behind us laughing and her friend Charlie's joke. Mrs. Bolton's cat chases Charlie's little brown dog up and down the street. Mrs. Bolton and Charlie each have their own words too. She and her, he and him. Our neighbor Anna tinkers with her car in the driveway. When I first met Anna, she had a different name and used different pronouns. But now she goes by Anna and uses she and her every day. She's my favorite neighbor. I'll be there soon, she calls. We see Robin Day and Zir kids drawing with chalk. When I introduce Robin to Uncle Leor, I use Zir words. Uncle Leor says hello and tells Zir their words too. We'll see you at the bash, they say. Sometimes our words are pronouns, like we heard in the book. Sometimes our words are the feelings that we have or the things we like to pretend to do or be. I wonder if we can tell each other some of the things that we like to pretend about, things that we might imagine doing or being one day, or even the pronouns that we like to use, and we can put them into our song because all of our words all together, they help us shine like the sun and Shine Like the Sun is the name of this next song we're going to sing by Hannah Rothman. What do you like to pretend to be? Do you like to dress up? Do you like to imagine that one day you'll be an astronaut going to space? Or maybe pretend to be a snow person or an ant or a bird or a unicorn? Well, if you want to be a snow person and you're not hurting anyone, you're free to be the snow person that you please from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. Can you shine like the sun? Let me see all your beautiful sun rays spreading out all over your room. Dora wants to be everything that she likes. If you want to be everything you like and you're not hurting anyone, you're free to be everything you can be from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. Let's see all of our beautiful sun rays. And Talia pretends to be a teacher and Tucker wants to be an architect. If you want to be a teacher and you're not hurting anyone, you're free to be the teacher that you please from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. Elliot likes to imagine she is going underwater and can turn into a mermaid. Can everyone put on your mermaid tail and just swish, swish your tail around? If you want to be a mermaid and you're not hurting anyone, you're free 
to be the mermaid that you please from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. And if you want to be an architect and you're not hurting anyone, you're free to be the architect that you please from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. Ooh, someone in Anna or Anna's family wants to be an Airstream designer. If you want to be an Airstream designer and you're not hurting anyone, or is it banner designer? You're free to be the designer that you please from now until you're done. Shine like the sun. Thank you for sharing the things that you like to pretend to be or imagine that you will be one day. Those are just some of the words that we have. Let's learn more about our words like pronouns, and other amazing words that define us and describe us and help us shine like the sun. Mm. Ah, there we go, nice and big. Can everybody see? When we arrive at the bash, we see our new neighbor. Hello, my name is Ari. What are your words? I ask. Hi, Ari, I'm Avery and I use they and them, they reply. Like my uncle Lior, I say. What are your other words? Avery thinks. My other words are teacher, friendly, and loyal. What are your words? Avery asks. I scrunch my face. I thought I would know by now. I'm not sure what fits me today, I tell them. I try out some other words. A and M feel heavy and bumpy to me. They don't fit either. You'll figure it out, Avery tells me. Sometimes it just takes patience. But I don't want to be patient. It shouldn't take this long to find my words. Everyone else seems to know theirs. I go to Uncle Lior and I tug on their sleeve. I still don't know my words. That's okay, Uncle Lior says reassuringly. They're your words. They didn't disappear. If you don't know them today, you'll know them tomorrow. But tomorrow is such a hard idea sometimes. It's really difficult to think about tomorrow when all you can think about is now. Soon it's time for fireworks and I wait for the show to start, just like I've been waiting all day to figure out my words. Waiting makes me feel buzzy like a bee and makes my skin feel itchy. When the first explosions finally burst in the sky, everyone gasps. <gasps> Suddenly, I feel my words fall into place. Sometimes I know my words right away. Sometimes I have to think about my words. Sometimes I have to try my words out. But sometimes I have to wait for my words to find me. Sounds like the character in that book was having some really big feelings. Sometimes our words are the feelings that we're having. Let's play a game where we practice recognizing the feelings in these faces. Do you think that you can tell me? You can type it in the chat or you can take yourself off of mute and tell me what feeling you think this is. First, let's clap our hands to the beat and sing this little chant. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling, one, two, three, go. What feeling do you think this is? Happy. 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 I think it's happy. You know what? I think you're right. Let's try another one. You won't trick Clap me. Clap your hands to the beat. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling, one, two, three, go. Ooh, some people think mad or angry. Mad. I think you're right. I think I agree with you. Let's try another one. Clap your hands to the beat. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling. One, two, three, go. That was a scary face. 
Surprised. Oh, some people think a scary face, scared or surprised. Yeah, I think those are great answers too. And sometimes, sometimes a surprised face might look like this and sometimes a scared face might look like this. Let's try another one. Clap your hands to the beat. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling, one, two, three, go. What could this one be? Wow. I look, I look like a robot. Cold. Oh, Afraid. Maybe, maybe it's somebody shivering or their teeth are teeth are chattering. Oh. Or maybe it's someone who's afraid. Afraid. Cold. Maybe afraid or cold. Those are both, those are all great answers. Yeah. I think maybe nervous or anxious might be my answer to this one. <clears throat> Let's try the um, next one. Well, maybe jealous. Maybe jealous. Ooh, maybe. Let's try the next one. Tap your hands to the beat. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling, one, two, three, go. Sad. Sad. Oh, I think this one might be sad, too. How can you sad. tell? Yes, sad. How can we tell? Because it has a frown, not a smile. Frown, not a smile. And what's this? A tear. Oh, yeah. It's quiet. Let's try the next one. Clap your hands to the beat. Feelings come and feelings go. Guess this feeling. One, two, three, go. Silly. I think you're right. All right, so everyone, let's put our computer, our screens on gallery mode from switch from speaker to gallery so we can all make a silly face on the count of three. In Hebrew, echad, shtaim, shalosh, silly face. <laughs> That was wonderful, everybody. Oh, I love seeing all of your silly, silly faces. So our feelings, just like <laughs> the things we imagine, just like our pronouns, our feelings are also just some of the words that make us who we are. And that can change mind funny. all the time, from day to day, hour to hour, even minute to minute or second to second, they change. Let's find out what happens next in our book. Do you think Ari found some words? What do you think Ari's words are going to be? You can say them out loud or you can put them in the chat or you can whisper them to somebody who's sitting with you if you want it to be a surprise. What do you Rainbow. Think? Rainbow, that's a great word. Any other words that we have guesses? All right, keep your guesses close. Let me get my fingers off of Ari's face. I squeeze Uncle Lior's hand. Uncle Lior, I whisper excitedly. What, they ask. There's another boom of fireworks and colors race through the sky. I point, those are my words. I am like fireworks. And they and them feel right today. Fireworks, Uncle Lior says with a laugh. They squeeze my hand back. That's definitely you, Ari. My words finally found me. They and them feel warm and snug to me. Those pronouns are perfect. So the person who said rainbow was a very good guesser. Very, very good guesser. Fireworks are often rainbow colored. Hi there, I haven't met you yet. My name is Ari. My words are Impatient, bouncy, excited, nervous, colorful, and hopeful. And today, my pronouns are they and them. What are your words? Can you put in some of the words that describe you in the chat? Maybe they're your pronouns, or maybe they are adjectives like bouncy or calm, or maybe they are nouns like rainbows and fireworks. What are some of your favorite words that describe you? What are you like? And what words do you like using today? Elliot is rainbow, silver, and gold. Talia is happy. Rabbi Rapport is sweet. Dora is silly. 
Dora's face matches being silly. Ezra and Aton are fireworks. They have a lot in common with Ari. Keep those words coming. We are so proud of all of your words. And just like Jennifer, I bet a lot of us are grateful and maybe rosy from all the smiling. And gerbily, definitely gerbily, especially after almost an hour on Zoom. And energetic. I think that Stephen has a great song for all of us who are feeling energetic, happy and silly and conveniently it also goes very well with funny faces keep the words coming friends all right that's wonderful everybody well did you know that you can mix and match all sorts of words that's right some people think that only certain words go together like the only girl and pink go together or only boy and blue go together but we know at cbst that that's not right you can match any words together with each other, no matter who you are. It all depends on how you're feeling inside. And so I love that someone said rainbow because this song is about a rainbow. It's about there's a rainbow for everyone, no matter who you are. You can choose any color from the rainbow. So can you make a rainbow in the air with your hands? All you have to do is wave your hands up high in the air like this and keep drawing your rainbow in the air. And if you wanna get up and dance around and draw your rainbow all over your room and all over your, your area, then you can do that too. And let's say there's a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, a rainbow for everyone. Pink's not just a color for girls, pink is a color for everyone. And blue's not just a color for boys, blue is a color for everyone. Purple's not just a color for girls, purple is a color for everyone. And red's not just a color for boys, red is a color for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, a rainbow for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're a sister or a brother. It doesn't matter whether you're a father or a mother. There's no such thing as boy and girl colors. There's a rainbow for everyone. It doesn't matter whether you're a gal or a fellow, Ima or an Abba, Abuela or Abuelo. Green, blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow. There's a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, a rainbow for everyone. There's a rainbow, there's a rainbow, there's a rainbow for everyone. So some people feel like rainbows. Do you remember what Ari felt like at the end of the book? Something that goes up into the sky and is bright and shiny and colorful. It makes a really loud noise. Who can remember? What am I thinking of? It goes boom in the sky. It makes bright sparkly colors all over. That's right, Did you, do you remember? It's a firework. I wonder if we can, if you're not, yes, that's right, Acadia, it's a fireworks. So if you're not already up dancing around, let's all stand up. I wanna know if you could show me how you would dance like a firework. plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again do you ever feel feel so paper thin like a house of cards one bill from caving in do you ever feel already very deep six feet under screen but no one seems to hear a thing do you know that there's still a spark in you there's a chance for you because you just gotta ignite Show them what you're worth. Make it 
make him go oh 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 as he shoot across the sky i i cuz baby you're a firebird come on let your colors burst make him go oh 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 you're gonna leave them all in all Well, the spark inside of you, sometimes we think about that spark, that firework spark, like something that God breathed into all of us. And the spark that God breathes into you will always be perfectly you. Your pronouns might change, your name could change, the, your favorite food or the things you like to do might change, but you will still always be exactly who you were made and meant to be. And that's the meaning of this next prayer we're going to sing called Elohai Neshama. Can you find something to drum on? Maybe you could drum on your lap or on your table, on your chair, even drum on your belly or your head. Oh, but very gently, don't get hurt. Elohai Neshama Shenatata Bi Teho. drumming everybody so sometimes we have to listen really closely to hear the spark inside of us and, and inside of each other to listen to shema for the voice of god and the breath of god all around us Remember when we did our Shalom song and we learned a little bit of American Sign Language? We're gonna do, we're gonna learn a little bit more American Sign Language now so that we can practice learning and saying the Shema and listening for the voice and the breath of God all around us. There's so many ways to hear and see that spark, not just with words, but also with the way that we move our hands, with the way that we use our face with the way that we treat each other. Some people might already know this, and I would love, love some helpers if you already know how to say the Shema in ASL. We saw it yesterday, and the great thing about American Sign Language is it's such a beautiful and clear and expressive way to say exactly what we mean. So let's try this. 
American Sign Language, just like English, just like Hebrew, just like every language on earth, has a lot of different ways to express similar ideas. And so if you are somebody who uses American Sign Language, you might choose different words to translate and to make the poetry of the prayer Shema um, feel right when you are sharing it. But these are the signs that Rabbi Darby Lee, who is a rabbi from CBST, taught to us. And we think they're really beautiful. So can everybody try with me? Can you do Shema? Beautiful. I'm seeing somebody in Matt Jones's house doing a great Shema. Claire and Devin are doing a nice Shema. And so are Lindsay and Tucker and Talia. This means kind of focus, pay attention. And the word for Yisrael can be really different for different people. Some people do this sign for Yisrael. And if you have a beard, this is a great sign to use. But we really like the way that Portuguese sign language explains Israel, the idea of Israel, because we love the picture of a Jewish star. And so can everybody make a triangle right over your heart? And then flip it, flip, 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 flip. Maisie's doing a great job. So we have Shema Yisrael, Adonai, we look up towards the general vicinity of where God might be, as well as other places. Eloheinu, from shoulder to shoulder, all of us, all of our God, Adonai, God is one. Let me see some number ones. Zeke's working on it. Ooh, Ariel has a beautiful number one and Makai is paying very close attention. Nice job, Claire. All right, let's try all together. Ready? Focus. Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. All right, see if we can do it at the same time as some of our awesomely mood students like Acadia on the video. Beautiful job, everybody. So now we're going to sing it with our voices, hear it with our ears, but also if you like, you can add your signs. Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohim Adonai Echad. Now it's time to listen very closely with our ears as Jennifer has a couple announcements about what's coming next on this Rosh Hashanah day two. There we go. Well, I wanted to thank everybody for being here today thank you. <laughs> and tell you that I really hope everybody has a sweet and healthy new year. It is going to be an incredible year. We have so much to look forward to and I have so much to be grateful for in this past year as well. What I hope is that I'll get to see more of you over the course of this year. We have a few things coming up. The first 
is services for Yom Kippur, which will be on the morning of September 16th at 9 a.m. same time. And you should have the link for that in the same email that you got for this, uh, for this service. And we'll send it to you again as a reminder. The second is that over the course of the year, starting on October 9th, we're going to be having special uh, Shabbat services, Aleph Bet Shabbat, that's going to be led by wonderful Stephen Figura Smith that has been leading us here. So amazing. So grateful for your beautiful playing and your beautiful voice. And so if you'd like to join us and do more of this, more singing, more togetherness, we would love to have you. We're going to send out an email to all of the parents so that you have all the information you need. And we welcome every family who would like to join us. Families with two moms, families with two dads, families with grandparents and aunts and uncles, and families with one mom and one dad are welcome too. All of us are welcome. Every single one. We'll all meet you where you are, and we want to grow with you. So thank you from all of us at CBST. And thank you, Jennifer. Right after this, if you would like to join us, if you want more, more, more Rosh Hashanah, um, we are going to have a special service for people who are six to 12 years old, but you're welcome if you're not quite six or you're more than 12. One of the very important sounds that we hear on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is the sound of the shofar. And to get us pumped and ready to hear that sound, we're going to be making it ourselves. Stephen, how do we turn ourselves into shofar rot? All right, everyone, take out your shofar just like this. And we're gonna learn four calls of the shofar. The shofar makes four sounds. The first one is one medium-sized blast called tikiya. Can you all go tikiya? The next one we're going to make is three shorter blasts, but not too short. They sound like this. And that's called Shevarim. So we're going to say Shevarim, Im, Im. Try it with me. Shevarim, Im, Im. The next one is nine really fast, short blasts. It's called Teruah. So we'll go Teruah. Ah, 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 ah. Nine times. Ready? Taru. Ah, 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 ah. And the very last one is Takia Godola. It's the great, great, big, long Takia. We'll save that one for the end of our song. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Ready for Takia? Take out your shofar. Takia. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Next comes Shevarim. Shevarim. Im, im. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Next, here comes Teru. Ah, Teru. I like to hear the shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new year. Let's do those three all in a row. Tequila, Shevarim, Terua. Get ready, take out your shofar. Here we go. Tequila, Shevarim, Im, Im, Teru. Ah, 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 ah. Now here's the last one. Tequila, Godola. Take a great big deep breath in. Tequila, Godola. Shofar blast, sometimes slow and sometimes fast. I like to hear the shofar blast. Happy, happy, happy new, happy, happy, happy new, happy, happy, happy new year. And now, friends, just
just like the shofar is an awesome instrument, I wonder if you have any instruments at home with you right now. If you have an instrument or something you can find to use to make music with, why don't you go, go grab it so we can play a couple more songs before it's time to say goodbye. And while you're grabbing your musical instruments, we are going to hear the shofar. It is a big, loud sound. And we had to do this outside and make a recording of it because if we sounded a shofar right next to our computer, it would blast out the speakers. We've tried it at home. We don't recommend it. So this video is all of our very best shofar sounders at CBST. And if you already saw the video, you have an inside track. Guess who is going to be the last shofar standing and maybe see if you can hold your breath as long as you can. And whose shofar did you match? Go for it, Rosemary. <laughs> Stop holding me breath. Yeah. I know. That was so long. Oh, and so loud too. Now let's use our instruments and we're going to get loud also, but not yet. First, we're going to start, start off really softly, really, really quiet. And then we're going to get louder and louder and louder as we sing Avinu Malkenu, a really special song for Rosh Hashanah and the High Holidays. Can we play really softly? Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Konenu Vanenu. Ki ain banu masi. A little bit louder now. I say imanu. Siddhaka vechese. I say imanu. Siddhaka vechese. Vehoshi now, can you play even louder? Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu. Chonenu Vanenu. Kien Vanu Masi. Now, really loud. I say. shaking and playing and sing one more song before it's time to say shalom and goodbye this song is by amazing queer jewish songwriter debbie friedman we say it every new year happy new year everyone 
Sometimes it's full of raisins, sweet like the coming new year. It tastes like Shana Tova, Le Shana Tova. We say it every new year, Le Shana Tova. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's give one more great big Shana Tova on the count of Shalosh, Echad, Shtaim, Shalosh, Shana Tova. Thank you, friends. Toda Haverim for coming to celebrate and sing and dance and learn and play and pray with us today. Now let's say Shalom the same way that we said it on our way out. We're going to say it the same way. Same way on our way out as we said coming in. Sha la 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 shalom. Sha la 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 shalom. We wish you peace wherever you roam. We wish you peace inside your home. Sha la 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 shalom. Shalom and Shana Tova, friends. I hope I'll see you on Shabbat at Aleph Bet Shabbat during the school year. And I'm so grateful for you being here today and seeing your lovely, wonderful, smiling faces. Shana Tova, everybody. Anyada buena. A good to your. If you want to hang out with us in 6 to 12 services, you're very invited. And everybody's always invited to grown up services. There's a lot of shofar coming, we promise. Take care, and we'll see you soon.